Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up this real-time shadow faking. As you can see here, we are not actually using real-time shadows, but it does look like we are. And these shadows are affected by light. The reason you would use these instead of normal shadows is they are a lot less resource intensive since we are just using textures to do this but as you can see they are affected by the light so let's get into it and let's learn how to do it so we're going to come here and as you can see i have a scene it's glsl is turned on because you're going to need glsl for this so as you can see i have no light so it's a completely dark scene so what we're going to do is we're going to add a spotlight now this is the only kind of lamp that it works with. The rest look a bit weird when you do it. So we are going to add our spot lamp in. So as you can see, here is our spot lamp. So what we want to do is we want to make a special texture for this. So what I'm going to do is come over to GIMP or you can use Photoshop depending on your preference. And as you can see, I already have a texture here. We're going to delete that or I'm going to delete it. And what you want to do now is we want to come up here and make a new material. Now, for now, you can go with 400 by 400 pixels. You could go lower or higher, depending on your preference. Lower will be faster, higher will be slower on your resources. So, I'm going to go OK. So, what you're going to want to have is a 400 by 400 pixel white image, which we have here. So, what you're going to want to do is basically just draw your shadows in so i'm going to be using this tool just the box um uh, the rectangular select tool and we're going to come over here and we're going to paste in some black because the black is going to be our shadows all right so what you can do is we can just add some more in and paste that there now if you do want kind of in the middle shadows that aren't completely dark you can go with a different color but black's going to be fine for now because i don't really need that for this all right so what we're going to do is just going to quickly make kind of like some random random shadow types so this could be like a fan shadow and you can make the lamp rotate or you could have it like in a sewer and the rays of light coming through the shafts and certain things could make different shadows but this is going to be fine i don't know what this shadow is coming from but it looks kind of cool so what you're going to want to do is you are going to want if you were to put this in your game now it's going to be a little bit hard and you don't really want that so what you're going to want to do is if you want to soften up your shadows you're going to come up here you're going to come in to the filters and blur you are going to want to do the equivalent of this in photoshop if you are using photoshop so i'm going to go blur and maybe once more because i want it to look just a little bit more so there we go that is our shadow so what you're going to want to do is save it to somewhere where you can find later which i'm going to save it into this directory for my tutorial so we're going to go export and I'm going to replace, you won't get that message unless you have a file with the same name. So I'm going to go export. And I'm going to come back to Blender. So what you're going to want to do now is come over to the texture panel, making sure you have the light selected. And you're going to want to make sure you have this light bulb selected. You don't want any of these other ones selected. So you're going to go new. And you are going to locate your file on your hard drive. So I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to go to the file, the place where it is stored, which is in my tutorial files. You can go to wherever you have placed it. So I'm going to open this up. And what you can see is instantly our light is made look different. So as you can see, we have light here and darkness here. Now, what's cool about this is if we were to add some kind of a lamp, this is, as you can see, the shadows do go away so what you can do now you can rotate it around and stuff but let's say that this this you have a two flawed room so you have another floor down here or some kind of thing now what you see is it doesn't actually show here and that is the reason 
because when when you add a lamp it automatically has shadows enabled now sometimes this won't have this little tick and sometimes it will it's a bit weird sometimes but we are doing it we are faking the shadows so we don't want this enabled because that's just going to be using our resources so as you can see now it is showing down there and we don't want that we only want it showing up here so how to fix that is you come up here and you want to get this distance value and turn it down until it's about the area so as you can see we want to turn it down till it hits about the area so now you can see that it's not as bright as it could be so what you're going to want to do is turn on this shape and you can also see down here you can see it turn on the shape it almost disappears so the way you can fix that is just coming up to here and changing it to this linear one and that doesn't do too much you might want to turn the system up a little bit and maybe the brightness up so there you go so as you can see it works and it's shadow and it and it works with other lights as well so as you can see click this and now we have our light that's a shadow it works great and it's really going to be useful to save some of those resources on place where you don't need real time shadows but you like shadows that your other objects will interact with because as you can see other objects will interact with us and it just makes your game just look that little bit nicer without using that much resources thanks for watching if you have any questions about this tutorial you can comment them down below you can also subscribe on youtube to get updated every single week when i come out with a new tutorial or you can find them on blenderreel.com